Well, guys, let's get started with the final 20. It's the final countdown. Number 20, Blastoise. Blast Squirtle was the very first Pokemon I ever chose when playing Red and Blue. So naturally, every person who chose either Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirrel is going to make it onto their favorite Pokemon list. <laughs> if that was the generation you grew up with. Naturally, it's going to... Your favorite starter is going to be the one you grew up with. And it's going to appear somewhere on your list. And number 19, we have Golem. Golem, to me, is... a beast. I mean, it's the final evolution of Geodude, and... The thing is a fucking tank. What can I say? But, I love it. I really love it. And I think that Geodude, as a golem, is just massive. Anyways, Golem is just a beast. And number 18, we have Piloswine. Why Piloswine? Well, <laughs> it looks like a clump of hair, and it's hilarious to look at. And every time I just see one, I kind of think it's so goofy looking. That's why it's on this list. Number 17 starts with a C. H A chanting. Yeah, this Pokemon is like the ultimate nice Pokemon. Before Audino came out, this Pokemon was in all the Pokemon centers, taking care of everyone. Number sixteen we have Deoxys. Deoxys? It's a very underrated legendary like Jirachi. When everybody talks about legendaries, they usually talk about Mewtwo. Nobody brings up Deoxys. Why? It's a very good Pokemon. Plus it has those forms. But I digress. Anyways, at number fifteen, we have Slowking, but more specifically, the second movie, Slowking. This Slowking acted as comic relief. And my favorite line of his, I could use pants. And number 14, we have Vespaquen. I gotta admit, this is a pretty damn good Pokemon. Watching Maryland do his Diamond playthrough, it made me want to use one if I start playing Diamond. Granted, female combies aren't that common, but once I find one, I'll be sure to use it. Number 13, we have Stantler. Now, I love the holiday season. One dream I had when I was about 12 was riding on a Stantler and just discovering the world. getting off the Stantler and morphing into a Power Ranger. Then again, I was 12. And number 12, we have Noctowl. Noctowl? I don't know why people use the term Pidgey clone. I mean, all the basic normal flying types have their own unique strengths and weaknesses. 
weaknesses. Noctowl can learn psychic moves for God's sake. It can use hypnosis. I remember teaching my nightmare, which was really fun to use. And Noctowl. But I'm not counting the one that was used in the anime. I mean, sure, Ash had a shiny Noctowl. That was pretty cool, but honestly, he didn't deserve it. Don't get me started on Ash, folks. Don't get me started. And finally, number 11. Ditto. What can I say about Ditto? No, really. What can I say about it? Ditto can transform into any Pokemon. Or anything. <laughs> Oh, what I'd do with a ditto to certain people. If I had a ditto, it would be awesome. Probably one thing I'd do with a ditto is have it transform into Jason David Frank. Just to see people's reaction, to see me hanging out. To see what they think is Jason David Frank. <laughs> that would be awesome. An awesome prank to pull. Anyways. Well, folks, there's only ten more. And I'll see you guys next time for the final 10. Bye-bye.